nitrogen balance. So what does it mean and why is it important for us to know or to be able to calculate and um, what might be some impactors of nitrogen balance that might cause a positive or ne negative nitrogen balance? Well, going back to some of our basics, we know that protein is made up of amino acids. Um, amino acids in particular are going to have that nitrogen group on them. So proteins are made up of carbohydrates, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogens and have that amino group. So when we break that amino group down, um, that's where we're getting that nitrogen from. We also remember that um, amino acids are absorbed in the small intestine or the ileum. Uh, then after they are absorbed, they go to the liver and then the liver is going to decide their fate. And then um, note that 16% of protein mass is made of nitrogen. So those are just um, a little bit of different ways of where that nitrogen is coming from. Um, there is a formula to calculate it. I'm going to break that down to what that means. Um, but let's talk a little bit about positive nitrogen balance versus negative versus no nitrogen balance or equilibrium, zero. So a positive nitrogen balance, a very simple way to think of that is it's keeping nitrogen in the body. Um, we're retaining nitrogen. Some things you might see when we're retaining nitrogen or keeping it in our body. Um, so we wanna think about maybe it's an increased protein intake, right? That nitrogen is coming from that protein. Maybe that might have a um, positive nitrogen balance. Some other things, pregnancy, teenagers, healing, Increasing muscle mass, all of that has to do with growth, um, and that's going to be our positive or retaining nitrogen, right? We're going to use that nitrogen maybe to grow our muscles because that 16% of protein mass is nitrogen. So kind of get that concept of positive is keeping and growing. So negative or excretion or losing nitrogen is going to be the opposite. Um, so we're thinking about breaking down lean body mass. We might see inadequate protein intakes. Um, surgery, infection, sepsis, surgery, or sorry, fractures, um, all of that kind of thing might lead to a negative nitrogen balance. And then a equilibrium is going to be a healthy individual. Now this is really used for um, estimating protein fluctuations in critical ill patients. So um, there is, you know, it's difficult to validate and sometimes inaccurate. So typically we're seeing nitrogen balance when we're looking at when we are um, giving the patient maybe TPN or enteral nutrition because we know how many amino acids or how much nitrogen a protein we're giving them um, and likely be able to know how much they're excreting as well. So um, some things that impact it other than what we mentioned already, but we have different hormones like growth hormones and testosterone. Um, those might increase nitrogen, um, keeping, retaining nitrogen growth, obviously. Um, corticosteroids or thyroxine, which is T4. Um, so thyroxine, we have a lot of thyroxine. We might have hyper um, thyroidism. And that's where we see like that weight loss or that might be that breaking down a lean muscle mass. So negative excretion. Um, and then corticosteroids, um, usually that's also associated with um, losing lean body mass. So those are kind of our things to affect it. So to break down our formula here, um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the grams of protein eaten or the grams of protein um, intake. And we're going to divide that by 6.25. What we are doing here is basically we're saying... Um, with where the 6.25 is coming from is we have 6.25 grams of protein that were eaten and one gram of nitrogen is excreted. So that's kind of where that number comes from. If we ate just 6.25 grams of pro or nitrogen, uh, protein, I guess I should say, we'd have one gram of nitrogen that we would leave, our, would leave our body. Um, then we're going to take, when we find that number, we're going to subtract it from the urinurea nitrogen plus four grams. Um, our four grams here, this is insensible losses. Um, our urine urea nitrogen, we're looking at the nitrogen in urea specifically. Um, our four grams, our insensible losses, maybe we also have um, ammonia, creatine, those kind of things that we're not accounting for in this equation. There is another equation that does account for that. Um, and it's basically two instead of four. And instead of urine, urine urea nitrogen, it's total um, nitrogen, which is going to be urea, ammonia, and creatine. So, simply put, 
We're calculating grams of protein eaten divided by 6.25 subtracted from urine urea nitrogen plus four. That's gonna give us either a positive, a negative, or a zero to tell us where we are at in our nitrogen balance.